What is going on my peeps? I'm Versatiles back with another video back here to talk about a phone gimbal. Yes, as you guys see behind me, that's my camera gimbal from Zhiyun, and that is the Weeble S. Hopefully to get my hands on the Weeble 2 soon. In the meantime, we got the Smooth Q3 for a phone. Yes, a phone gimbal. How this can maximize your video and content creation with just a simple gimbal. And that's all you really need is a simple gimbal. Yes. What we're going to get into in this video is what you can do with this gimbal, how this can help you with certain social media apps. If you're heavy in making content there, how this can actually upgrade your content creation and how to actually really use this gimbal. That's one of the first things we're going to get into is how to use this gimbal and the app that's associated with it. That all you need to do is Bluetooth it to Bluetooth the gimbal to your phone and you're good to go. So before we get into everything, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So we know that's my videos, that way we can sit back, relax, and see what's cracking. And let me know down in the comment section below, do you use gimbals? Do you use phone gimbals? Do you use camera gimbals? Are you into gimbals? Again, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, let's get into the video. And upon opening the box, you are presented with tripod legs, the gimbal, and a cable to charge it with or and that's pretty much it pretty nice and lightweight now when you, as you see the gimbal here <clears throat> one of the first things you probably want to do is screw the legs into the bottom like so and, it's got, and this what this will do for you is provide you with great stability in terms of being able to hold the gimbal right right there boom now you got this little grip but in order to get it you're gonna have to unscrew this to raise this up to actually be able to set your phone in and for this we'll be using my sony or <laughs> sony my samsung galaxy s21 now as i said if you unscrew this button right here it will help you to raise it all the way up and then you screw back in place and then <clears throat> with this piece right here so what you want to do is pretty much do it like that and what you're going to do now, now that we're done with the box, is grab your phone. You're going to put the phone right inside the clamp here. So, okay, there we go. So, the, <laughs> oh no. Uh, so the fat part's at the top. The fat part is going to be up at the top. And once you put it in, it's going to squeeze onto the phone, right? So make sure you, oh, make sure you level it correctly as well. So that way, once it's in, it's in. And then you want to make sure that it's it's not going everywhere, right? You want to make sure, <laughs> open the, the legs here. All right, so you want to make sure you scoot it. This is called balancing the gimbal. Now, once you have it balanced, all you have to do is turn the power on. And the power button is the right here on the back. So all you got to do is hold and then it'll cut on. Now. There's button, flashing buttons on the front. There we go. Boom, see, as it, and then as it did, it balanced itself just like that. Now there's, when you press the power button again, it blinks to let you know how much life is left. And I have four bars on here, and each bar is 25%. That means I have 100% battery life on here. Now, the first thing you're gonna see here is modes. That button, if you click, it'll cycle through each different way, each, you know, motor, if you will, or axis will control. So pan follows one, lock is another one, follow is another one, which is very similar to POV, and POV allows you to do cool things like that. Now, one of the things we're gonna wanna do is connect the app. <laughs> now, before we do, there's another button down here, and you most likely see it, that's essentially your, your record button. The red button allows you to record and or take pictures, and the trigger button, likewise, Will help you do something similar now you have a joystick right here which controls the axis so it'll let you control all that if you double tap it, it'll reset it just like that so if you double tap the trigger button <clears throat> it'll reset where it's at so watch boom if i tilt it up i tap boom it'll reset it just like that and one of the things you want to do once you get into the app is auto calibrate for your phone so that way you get the best stabilization for the phone that you actually have connected and attached to the gimbal. So let's connect the app. So the app you're gonna wanna download is called the ZY Cami app. And once you install that, that's where it's going to want to Bluetooth connect to the gimbal so that way you can get additional functionality out of all your buttons 
and the gimbal. So, also be aware that when you first connect the ZY Cami app to the gimbal, there's an update that it's going to want to do. So, that will keep the gimbal up to date and fresh and working according to how Zhiyun wants it, and it'll keep you having a great stabilized, well-functioning gimbal. Now that you have the gimbal set and ready to go, one of the things you can do is triple tap the trigger button here on the back and it will change its orientation from landscape to portrait and vice versa. So right now we're in portrait, double tap, now we're in landscape. So we wanna hit this icon over here for it to detect the smooth Q3. Once it does, hit connect. Once it connects, you can hit shoot. Make sure you give its permission. So, and now you're in the app. Welcome to ZY camera app, bop, 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 confirm, initialization, glamour effects, grid. I like to have the grid on. I don't do diagonals often. If I hit next, uh, glamour effects, I don't want on. Single press, uh, switch, oh, single press of the, of the mode button. We'll switch photos and videos, open shortcut menu. I'm just gonna leave it on default. Now we're in. Now, of course, it lets you know that you can update here also, new firmware update. But before we worry about that anymore, what we can do is show you some of the things you can do. Now that it's connected to the camera, or through, to the smartphone rather, if you see here right on the side, you have the zoom capabilities of tight and wide. So if you, you know, you're already all the way out. Uh, see, now you can zoom in. And you can zoom all the way back out. Now you can do that with the flick of a finger right there on the side of the gimbal. Now again, as we know, the joystick here controls where the gimbal's looking. If you double tap the trigger, it will reset it. Now, I, as I was saying before with the record button, if you press record while it's on video, it will start recording a video. And you heard that chirp. Press it again, it's over. Now, if you double tap, it'll switch to photo mode. And in photo mode, if you hit the button, it'll take a picture and it'll chirp and let you know. If you double tap again, it'll switch back to video. Now, some of the modes that they have is a smart editing tool here. So you can do smart templates. It can edit your footage that you have in here and then you're good to go. You don't have to spend the time to edit yourself. Now, you also have a, a live, which is a streaming uh, streaming capability. So you can restream, you can do live streams from here as well. I don't think it has capability to stream straight to YouTube, but there are live streaming capabilities. Of course, we saw a photo and video, and then you have panoramic. And the nice thing about this is you can do, oh, you can also do dolly zoom, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, if we go to panorama, uh, as it shows you dolly zoom, it's you have to draw uh, an object that you want it to track, so that way when you pan in or pan out, it will actually capture the dolly zoom effect. And for those who don't know what the dolly zoom effect is, think of Jaws. If you guys ever saw the Jaws movie, do you remember that classic scene of the actor, I forgot his name, with the glasses, when the shark showed up on the beach, he has a black shirt on with glasses, and then you see that, that warpy look when it comes to how the background looks like it's zooming in a different direction as they zoom in on him, that's the dolly zoom effect. Now, if we go back to Panorama, Panorama allows you to actually get a nice stitched photo and then it will move itself and, you know, as it you know gets the panoramic shot and you can clone yourself via the panoramic uh, panorama function as well. So you can have three or four of yourselves within one frame of the area and it looks like there's triplets. Now, you also have time lapse and hyperlapse and you can set the speed of either one. Now, if we go into the settings right here, you got auto white balance. You have the grid for grid lines. You have the microphone. It's going to use the built-in microphones from your smartphone. And then you can have the flashlight on and off. Now, as I said before, there's a flashlight function right here at the top. Yeah, 
phone okay so flashlight controls the flashlight from your smartphone now next thing if you go to uh gimbal this is where you have the scene so if you're going to do a running scene with the gimbal make sure you click on run so that way it further stabilizes your footage if you're just doing walking keep it in walking and if you're not even doing if you're doing a subtle list of things just leave it in walk if you're doing more brisk more heavy moving definitely switch it to run and then of course the mode that you want to more or less default to pan follow is just fine that's a great nice simple look when you're using the gimbal you can also change your joystick speed of how fast this moves so a lot of people say leave it on medium uh, that's fine with me and then you can also change your zoom speed i'm gonna leave it on the slow function which is fine with me you can invert your pan and tilt controls you can change your mode functionality as we saw in the outset so you can change that to switch to photo and whatever or leave it to adjust which mode that you're going to use to shoot in here's what i was talking about before make sure you get the most out of your gimbal make sure you hit that gimbal auto calibration and when it calibrates this is what happens it's going to calibrate for you and this is how you get the most out of the stabilization for your phone that you're going to connect now yeah reasonably if you're only going to use the same phone over and over again it's okay to only calibrate it once i would say if you know you're going to always have it in the same exact spot you don't have to calibrate it often but for safe measures as you see it doesn't take but about 10 to 15 seconds if you auto allow the gimbal to calibrate itself you're going to get the most out of your stabilization for your create your content creation one of the other things i'd like to mention too is you can turn off your steady shot or digital Im uh, image stabilization that's built into your camera as well because now it's using stabilization from the gimbal so that way you can even get that much more quality out of your content that you're going to shoot or take pictures of with your built-in camera on your smartphone now those are the features of the gimbal those that's how you use the gimbal itself as you guys can see here you grab it here and this is pan and follow right nice and simple oh no it's actually on follow right now i don't know why i switched to follow but it's on follow all right it follows very similar to pov mode where you can tilt it and it moves Ooh, and then you hit it again and now you're in vortex mode and all you got oh well I thought you were um, if you hit it again now you're in pan and tilt and then you double tap to make sure it's focused on what you need to focus on and you're good to go there and then of course lock locks so it's not really gonna it's not really gonna change what you're gonna do as you guys can see there this is vortex mode and that's how you can get a clean vortex with your phone so you don't have to use a, a you know a nicer sized gimbal that's for cameras when you can use a smartphone gimbal and then you just press it again and it sets back there and then when you're done all you gotta do is unscrew the tripod legs uh unhinge the phone slide this back down and it fits right back into a nice compact size to travel with it is the gimbal for <coughs> smartphones now as i said there's different ways you can use it let's say you use instagram and you want to get very nice good pictures you all you gotta do is set the tripod feet set this down and you can of course set a timer get a picture walk away and you have somebody or something holding your camera for you if you're shooting video for instagram it's the same thing if you're doing instagram reels again set this up set it up in portrait mode if you want to and do your reel so when you're in video I'm, uh, maybe I'll show it in post, but if you're in video, all you have to do is tap on the screen and or hit the trigger button and it will actually lock onto an object. So that way, wherever that object's going, it will follow it. One of the most popular apps that people may take advantage of this with to make sure they get good stabilization or somebody or something to hold their camera or their phone is TikTok. If you're making TikToks, which is of course, the same as Instagram Reels, you have another way to make sure you optimize your content creation for that app. And then of course, YouTube. You're most likely gonna shoot in landscape unless you're doing YouTube shorts. And in landscape, you're able to get good videos with your smartphones, and most smartphones these days shoot very good video. So you'll be able to maintain good quality on your YouTube channel. 
those are some of the features that you can use this gimbal with and this gimbal as you guys can see is very simple to use otherwise of course it's plastic built so it's not going to be something that you know will take a lot of damage so be mindful of that but for something that you can just take out real quick put your phone in get some good shots and keep keep it moving you can do that and if you're even good with your camera you can go into pro settings if your camera allows for pro controls and actually shoot that much higher quality video or photos because of pro control so again i like that phone gimbals are giving people with phones or who do more content creation with their phones a reason to stay with their phones to do something like this and it beats not having to go grab something as expensive as a regular size gimbal i like that functionality with Zhuin and with this smooth q3 let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about gimbals if you guys plan on using a gimbal or this gimbal let me know down in the comment section below but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure you guys ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you know my videos then we can sit back to let's see what's cracking but your man verso is signing out and until the next video wait for oh.